Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today I am colourful AF because I thought I'd try to like vibe off my jumper a little bit. But we're also colourful because today we're going to be hauling some Colourpop makeup. I have got a huge box here. I'm trying not to show my address for obvious reasons. So yeah, I thought I'd have colourful makeup for Colourpop makeup. Get it? <laughs> We've also got the cutest little card ever from Colourpop. It says, you are my bestie, XOXO Colourpop. I absolutely love this. I'm obsessed with tea, so you better believe I'm going to be keeping this one. So yeah, as you can see, I've got a load of makeup. So let's just dive in. Okay, so to kick it off, I'm going to mention something that I'm going to do a whole video on separately outside of this video. So I'll link that when I film that. But I bought all of the Lux Lipsticks Spring Collection lipsticks these are the most stunning things like they come in the most stunning packaging ever like can you see that it looks like an embroidered butterfly it's got like this really shiny lux on it really cute stripes the packaging is absolutely freaking adorable and then inside the packaging the lipsticks just look like their ordinary lipsticks which is this rose gold packaging with stars all over colourpop written in the front and then the lipstick like so with the name of it on the bottom. And while I was at the Luxe lipstick section, I thought I would just buy all of them. I kind of bought all of them bar two. So I'm like trying to hold them all up. But basically I've got all of them apart from the black one, which I believe is Astronaut and the really lilac-y purple one called Cheetah, just because I know that I'd never wear those two shades. So there was kind of no point in me hauling them. So yeah, a black lipstick and a really neon purple one, which would kind of make my teeth look a little bit yellow, I thought. So those are the only two I haven't bought. Apart from that, I've bought them all. So yeah, a separate video is to come on this one with all of the swatches of the lipsticks. I don't want to make this video extra, extra long by swatching them all here because there's literally over 30 lipsticks in front of me, so... So moving on from the lipsticks, I got two precise brow pencils. I absolutely love these things. They're just, they're just my favourite. And in every order, I always, always order one of these. This is in the shade Dope Taupe. As you can see, it's got a spoolie on the end. And then the pencil comes here. It is a wind-up one, but I won't wind up. Because once you wind it up, you cannot wind it back down. Which is the only bugbear I have with this. Like, why? Why can't I wind it back down? But whatever I mean it's really really precise as you can see you can't even see the tip of it it's so precise but I don't know I just love it I've got it in my brows now I feel like it doesn't pull too warm um some days it can do if I've got like a weird foundation on but I feel like it suits my hair quite well it's not like too warm I don't know I just really really like this brow pencil and it's not that expensive speaking of prices I will put down how much each of these costs in US dollars and British pounds just so you can kind of get an understanding of how much everything is together in US dollars and British pounds at the same time, just for a little little reference point. I also bought two of their cream gel liners. I already have Teaspoon, which is like a really vibrant leaf green and I absolutely love it and I love the consistency. I've got Mr. Bing and Swerve, which I believe is just a black and a brown, um, but that's kind of like the only real sort of eyeliners that I use. I don't really use vibrant eyeliners that often, but maybe, maybe I'll dip my toe in the vibrant colour world one day. I'm just not a massive fan of that sort of thing. So I picked up this black and this brown. I just thought these were really, really nice colours. I'll just swatch them for you now. So that black there is Swerve. And then the brown there is Mr. Bing. I just thought they were so creamy. And they're also wind up as well. So again, I don't have to sharpen things. I hate sharpening pencils. Like, sometimes it's okay. But if it's like rubbishy wood, I just hate sharpening it. Because it just doesn't sharpen properly. So I always prefer wind up. It's just, it's just so much easier for me. I don't know. So I thought I'd pick up these two here. I also picked up two more Supernova shadows. I already have two of these. Um, so I thought I'd pick up two more just because I really, really love them. I'd say a good dupe or comparison in the UK is the Barry M holographic, uh, like, eyeshadow shoppers. They're probably a good dupe for it and around the same price, if I'm going to be honest. So if you're looking into the Colourpop Supernova eyeshadows and you don't obviously want to order from the USA just for these, I would recommend the Barry M toppers because they're really, really good. The shades I got them in were UFO and Mothership. I thought these were really, really unique shades. Um, even though the top one just looks like a coppery orange, it kind of pulls more red. Um, and then I've got this really tealy cyan blue at the bottom here, which is quite unique when it comes to eyelid colours, I think. So these are the shades here. You've got UF Woe, which is this very coppery, reddy orange uh, colour. And then Mothership, which is this very tealy, very green, kind of a little bit of a, like a bluey reflect in there as well, colour. And I think these are absolutely 
a beautiful and I think they're really unique as a liquid glittery top shadow. I don't know. I thought they were really, really pretty. Another thing I got was the Colourpop face spray. Now, I don't own any of the Colourpop face sprays, um, just because, I don't know, I just felt like they were quite small sprays and... I just don't know, I just never really thought I'd buy one really, but after looking into them for a while I thought these were really really pretty and they come in like a glass bottle which, I mean, I'm quite clumsy so it's probably not the best thing, but to keep it home it's quite a good little thing. I got the Rose Quartz Crystal Priming Spray, I thought these were really good for just ease because when you're priming and it's a spray on it's just so much easier than like rubbing it into your face. I don't know, I feel like I'm such a lazy person when it comes to makeup on an everyday basis, so anything that's going to make my makeup routine fast I'm like, I'm, I'm bought into that. I also picked up a pressed blush. I absolutely love their pressed blushes. I think they're absolutely beautiful. It might look like I've been punched in the face if it's too dark, but I don't know, I just thought it was a really, really nice shade and really, really natural. It's kind of like a rosy brown shade and yeah, I thought it was really, really pretty. I forgot to mention, this is the shade Weirdo, um, but it's about like dough, like bread dough. I don't know, I thought it was really cute. So I'm just going to pop that in my little compact. I'm excited. I love, love, love their blushes. If you're ever doing an order on Colourpop, I definitely recommend their pressed blushes. I also picked up a Super Shock Cheek Highlighter. I absolutely love their Super Shock Cheek Shadow sort of pressed pigment things. I think they're absolutely stunning. I've actually got, what is this, Lunch Money, I think? It's on my cheeks right now. It's just like this highlight. It just looks really, really glowy, really sheeny, and... Yeah, that's just a really unique formula. This is in the shade Wisp. Now, it looks really, really dark and, like, literally too dark for me. But I saw a swatch on someone with the same sort of skin tone as me and it looks completely different. Can you see that there on the edge of my fist? I just thought it was so sheeny and so beautiful. And I feel like if you don't want to put too much blush and bronzer on that day and you just want to focus on the skin, I thought this would be really, really pretty. It has got a bit of a darker undertone, but I feel like if I wore a lighter foundation, it won't be a big deal because... It's just such a beautiful sheeny colour. I love it. <laughs> and on the topic of highlighters, I also picked up their brand new highlighting palette, which comes at an absolute steal. Literally each highlighter comes to about £2. And then if you take into account packaging, like, it's going to be less than that. So here it is. This is the In Nude Endo palette, and I absolutely love the packaging. I absolutely love it. It's like this pink, like millennial pink, could you say? Pastel millennial pink with gold dots all over. I think it's absolutely stunning. And then inside you've got an array of highlighters and they're not glittery either, which is what I really like. Um, the, I think, what is it called? Like the Gimme More palette is quite glittery based and I didn't really like that because I prefer a sheen on my cheeks rather than glitter or anything like that because I like it to be more melted into the skin and looking really fresh. So I thought these were really, really beautiful. I'll just swatch a few for you now. So here's some swatches of them there. That top one is absolutely stunning. Like they're so, so beautiful. They're so sheeny and I just can't get over it. And you've got some really good shades in here. I put the two deeper ones just here underneath the white one, just so you can see these two here. Um, I probably wouldn't use these as highlighters just because it would show up on my skin as quite orangey, but these would make beautiful eyeshadows. And then all of these here, the medium to light ones oh, they're so beautiful like look at this how can you not love that how can you not love that so yeah i'm really 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 excited to use this palette and it's just absolutely beautiful and then on the topic of palettes i got the new give it to me straight palette i absolutely love color box eyeshadow palettes they come at such a good price they're like 12 dollars, which works out to be about eight pounds and they are stunning. I would buy these over any drugstore eyeshadow palettes. The payoff is absolutely stunning. These ones actually come with the names of the shadows underneath as well as the back, which I really, really do appreciate because, I don't know, just because when I'm trying to film a video and I'm trying to refer to shades, it's just so much easier to know exactly which one is which. So I hope they carry on doing that for future palettes because I'd, I'd really appreciate that. So yeah, this one is kind of just full of these warm toned browns and like goldy plummy shades. It's absolutely beautiful. I probably have all this in my collection, but I just, I had to pick it up. I had to pick it up. So just to swatch a few here, I've just got four of the shadows just to show you the pigmentation. I've got two metallic-y sort of uh, sparkly ones and two mattes and look at the pigmentation of those like they are absolutely crazy like that was just one swatch and just going back and forth a couple of times to sort of blend it out my hand look how incredible that is Ugh, I love Colourpop press shadows they're just unreal okay they're just unreal I then picked up the Colourpop and Kathleen Knight's collaboration 
I've got to say I absolutely, absolutely love Kathleen. She's got to be my favourite person here on YouTube. She's just so sweet and she just makes such funny content. I absolutely love her. I think this has got to be something like the fourth time Kathleen has actually collabed with Colourpop and every time she absolutely slays the game with whatever she brings out. And she's come out with this Dream Street collection. You get the Dream Team, which is three liquid lipsticks. So you get two satin and one gloss. And then she's got the Dream Street shadow palette, which I just cannot wait to get into this. It's absolutely stunning. Like, look at this packaging. Look at it. And then inside, it's just such a bunch of unique shades in one palette. I absolutely love it. I just, oh my goodness. Like, look at this one. Is that Kaleidoscope? Yeah, that was Kaleidoscope. This one right here, this one, they just look so unique in a palette together. I've never seen anything like it in one palette. So I cannot wait to get my hands on this and just really just go ham on my eyes. I know there's probably a lot of them already out there, but if you want to look on this palette, just hit the thumbs up button or comment down below. And I'll be sure to do that because I really, really want to play around with this palette. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful these shadows are. And look at that kaleidoscope one. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. And then inside of the Dream Team collection for the little like liquid lipsticks, she's got two satins and one gloss. The gloss is called Moonchild and it's kind of like this very natural nude with these gold flecks in and I've just never, like I've never had something like this before. So I'm so excited to try it out. She's got like her own personalised packaging as well, which is like this rose gold. It's just so, so beautiful. So aside from the gloss with the gold flecks in, I cannot wait to try out. She's also got one called Revere, which... I think it's like, she said it was French for something. And then she's also got like this salmony nude colour called Dreamy. This is absolutely stunning. I love these sorts of shades. I feel like they suit my skin tone quite well. So I'm really, really, really excited to try out these three products. I cannot wait. I also forgot to mention when I mentioned the Lux lipsticks, I also bought the New Theory um, like collection of lippy sticks. Now... How can I throw away this packaging? I, I can't. I literally cannot throw away this packaging. It's stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got this same embroidery typed sort of packaging to it. And this butterfly is absolutely beautiful. Just all of it is beautiful. It just looks like a little book. I cannot throw it away. I cannot. It's just... Oh. So inside you get six lippy lipsticks and they've all got their own special packaging. So they've all got these butterflies for like the matching packaging for the butterfly. So like I said, it comes with six brand new shades, two quite ready ones, two mauvey ones, a peach and a quite a nudie colour. So I'm going to quickly swatch these all for you now. And then yeah, we'll just enjoy their beautiful saturation of colour like they always are. So here we have the six shades. The first one here is Ink Blot. It's a really, really sort of biscuity, warm brown nude shade and I think it's absolutely beautiful. The second one we have here is called Psych and it's got a very peachy undertone. Again, a little bit more of a nudie peach, but definitely very wearable and very springtime. Absolutely love this one. Very, very cute. We then have this one here called Little Tings. It's like a Barbie muted, it's like a muted Barbie peach pink with a hint of mauve like undertones in it. I think this is a really unique shade and it's really really pretty and very appropriate for springtime. We then have the fourth one here which is called Persuasion which is far more berry toned and purple undertoned than I was expecting. So yeah this one is Persuasion. It's very very moody and sultry. I quite like it. We then have the fifth one here which is called Lullaby. This is very vibrant red, very springtime appropriate. I think a pop of red sometimes can look so nice but it's also got that orangey undertone which I really really like in a red. I prefer it to be more orangey than blue toned so yeah, really excited for that one. And then we have the last one here called Fly Fi, and I think that's such a funny little name, Fly Fi. Um, and it's just like a really ready, like a brick red, would you call it, with a hint of brown undertones. I think that's a really unique red. I really, really like that one, actually. So yeah, those are the six lippy lipsticks for the spring collection. I absolutely love them. I think they're really springtime appropriate, and they really range from some nudie colours, pinky colours, purple and red, so really, really excited to try these out. Okay, so another product I forgot to mention was this brow gel. Now, I've never really tried a brow gel before, so I don't know how it's going to work out for me, um, but this is also in the shade Dope Taupe. It comes in this glass little pot, just like the Maybelline tattoos a little bit and the Maybelline gel liner um, and it just looks like this literally just looks like my brow shade and it feels really really creamy as well so yeah I just thought I'd pick this one up because I'd never tried something like this before I think it'll be the correct shade it's the same shade that I buy the pencil in so hopefully it'll be all right so yeah I thought it was really cool and I'm ready to try this out. So at the beginning of the year, Colourpop came out with the brand new Super Shock shadows. And they just released like loads of colours, um, 15 to be exact. So I 
I just hauled all of them because there was like three of each colour and they kind of had like a glittery one, a matte one and like a sheeny one in some of them so I thought what better way to expand my Colourpop collection by adding more colour to it so that's exactly what I did. I already own quite a lot of the Super Shock shadows um, and I absolutely love them but do you know what they're the shadows I go for for that colour like I'm wearing one today. I think it's called Banana Daiquiri actually I'm not entirely sure I'll list it down below with all the makeup that I'm wearing on my face today but aren't they just like such fun I just think they're so bright and vibrant and every colour that I've got here I just know I'll wear at some point so that's why I decided to haul them. So I'm going to just open these all off of camera and then swatch them all down my arm for you just so you can get a good idea of what these puppies look like. Okay so 15 swatches later my fingers are stained to buggery like these poor little fingertips aren't going to see their natural skin tone for a while I don't believe. And we have all of the swatches right here. I'm going to try and show these off as best as possible but really sorry if the camera angle is a bit off. Um, I'm going to go from top to bottom with shade names and their formula. So the top one right here is called Monkey Business. It's just this very, very vibrant orange and this is a pressed pigment. We then have this very, very deep purple with blue reflex in it called Issa or Issa and this is an ultra metallic. It's absolutely beautiful. We then have this really beautiful sunshiny golden yellow which is called Sidekick and this is an ultra glitter. Again, really beautiful and reflective. We have this really, really vibrant, vibrant magenta -y pink right here called Don't Leave in this one right here and this is an ultra metallic. We then have this warm toned orangey brown right here and this is called No Promises and this is a matte formula. We then have this tealy cyan-y sort of colour, maybe a little bit more aqua, called Snapdragon and this is also matte, a little bit similar to Banana Daiquiri which is on my eyes now but more of a matte and brighter sort of colour. We then have this beautiful lavendery purple colour called Daddy and this is a pressed pigment as well which just which is why it's so beautiful and bright to be honest. We then have another bright yellow right here which has got very kind of pinky reflex in this one. This one is called I Like You and this is also an ultra glitter. I don't know if you can actually see the glitter in it at this angle but there is there is pink glitter in, I promise you. And then a step down we also have this very bright sky blue called Zoom Ship and this is a matte formula. This is very very pigmented and I don't own anything quite like this. It's very unique. And then the next one down we have this very tangerine orange called Kennedy and this is a matte formula as well. Really good transition for a warm sort of look here. Really, really pretty. And then the next one down we have this pinky pastely pink colour with this sort of orangey silver reflect all going through it. This one right here and this is called Twitter Pated and this is an ultra glitter too. And then this one here called Cutologist is a very, very warm orange. And it also has like these very fine yellow glitters running through it. I don't know if you can actually see it on camera, probably not, but it has very fine yellow glitters running all the way through this one. And then second to last, we have the shade Special Delivery. This is an ultra glitter and it's just like this minty colour green. It's really, really, really pretty. It's really shimmery as well. And then last but not least, we have the shade Frog, which is this pink silver colour. I don't know if you can even see that because of my elbow but it's this pinky silver colour right here and this is also an ultra glitter. We had one more and I didn't even swatch this one. This last shade here is the shade Whittle and this is also an ultra glitter. It's just like this very deep plummy purple and it's really really pretty. Kind of a little bit similar to this one but this one's more of a vibranty purple whereas that one's more deep so Whittle. So that concludes my Colourpop haul. I really, really enjoy doing Colourpop hauls. They're probably my favourite makeup hauls I enjoy doing. Um, if you want to see anything in closer detail that I've sort of featured in today's video, just pop that down below in the comments and I'll be sure to do that. Um, of course, I'll be doing the lip swatch video of all of the Luxe lipsticks that I hauled today, so that one will be coming up soonish. But if you want to see any of the Super Shock shadows in action into an eye look or there's a particular shade that you're quite interested in, just put it down below and I can do that for you. Equally, if you want to see any of the palettes as well, I'm more than happy to do that as well. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's video as much as I have. I really, really appreciate you guys watching. Please hit that thumbs up button if you have enjoyed today's video. It just lets me know that you enjoy these sorts of videos and that you enjoy Colourpop hauls just as much as me. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Join my little family. You know you want to. Thank you so much for watching once again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. And while I was at the Lux Liquid... And while I was at the Lux Licks... And while I was at the Lux... <laughs> but after looking in for them... Time. Time. Hop super so... Ugh. Literally my arm is killing me. Holy moly, that didn't even come off.